Welcome everybody to Bare Face Stories. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys have ever done bus trips long haul. Uh, those seats barely recline, let alone let you grieve the loss of a relationship. Here's my mum, topless, on Skype. Because she doesn't understand video conferencing. And he turned to me and he said, to be honest, I don't really like you. <laughs> I'm Andrea Gibbs and this is Bare Face Stories. Today we've got a doozy, a man, a deal on data and a dropped phone call. I was like, this guy, he calls me, right? He calls me. We had this great time on the phone. He obviously this hot new deal and I accept. And then we get disconnected and I can't get a call back. You know, like, what is he just not interested anymore? A dropped phone call that completely derails Shane Pierce's life and kicks off an epic quest through a maze of call centres, on hold music and note taking that would put a PI. To shame. All for the love of a mobile phone deal. Look, we've all been there, but Shane takes it up a notch and he tries to set all things right in the world again. And speaking of setting things right, don't forget that our next live gig is at Old Young's Gin Distillery in the Swan Valley, happening on February 29. It's going to be an awesome night under the stars. If you fancy a fancy dinner, you can book a table beforehand or if you are in the mood for kind of more laid back chills you can grab some pizza on the lawn and they've even got a crocodile chorizo pizza i mean where else can you get that all the details are in the show notes so check them out and get your spot sorted all right let's roll into shane pierce's adventure you're gonna love this one uh yeah so i was sitting at home one day minding my own business and uh the phone rang and i was like Fuck's sake, it's Eastern State's number. You know, it's probably some bastard trying to sell me more life insurance. So I'm like, hello? And he goes, hi there, am I speaking with Mr. Pierce? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, hi, my name's Tim. So Tim's a telco telemarketer, and I'm just about to shut Tim down when he starts talking about home internet. And actually, I just moved into a new place, and I said, look, yeah, I haven't sorted something out yet, so I'm looking at options, you know, and which is kind of the truth. And yeah, well, that really revved Tim's engine. You know, so he, he launches into this spiel about prepaid dongles and mobile hotspots and different size packages. And this guy really knows his product. I'm impressed. But it's when Tim gets around to a new mobile deal that things start to really get going for me. He goes, OK, Shane, I think I know what you want. We're going to get you a hot new deal. Does that sound good to you? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. He goes, yeah, you're going to get a heap more data. Do you like that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're going to pay your phone off, you're going to save hundreds of dollars moving forward. Mr Pierce, how does that sound? I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty damn good, thanks, Tim. That's awesome. And he goes, all right, I'm just going to finalise that for you. And I'm like, this guy's great. I mean, he knows what I want before I want it, you know. Like, uh, Anyway, so I'm thinking, well, good on you, Shane. That worked out pretty well, answering the phone. Anyway, um, and I, I can't hear anything. And I'm like, Tim? Are you, uh, Tim there, mate? Hello? Hello? And he's gone. I'm like, oh, we're disconnected. And I think, ah, oh, he's going to call me back. You know, we just had this fab time on the phone together and um, <laughs> he's probably dialing the number as we speak. But um, uh, anyway, 15 minutes later, no phone call. So um, I give him a call and I get Lee. And then Lee tells me that um, Tim's on another call. And I'm like, on another call? Already? I was like, this guy moves on quick. Um, and I'm like, all right. And he's like, look, he'll call, he'll call you back shortly. And I'm like, all right, okay, no worries. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed, but, you know, it's okay. So afternoon comes around and I still haven't heard anything. So I go, give him a call again and I get Lee. And um, Lee says, oh, look, Tim's gone home for the day. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, I was like this guy, he calls me, right? He calls me. We had this great time on the phone. He obviously this hot new deal and I accept... And then we get disconnected and I can't get a call back. You know, like, what is he just not interested anymore? <laughs> anyway, like, Lee's like, he'll call you, he'll call you. And I'm like, all right, all right. So like, Tuesday comes, nothing. Wednesday comes, nothing. Thursday comes and I'm like, pretty irate. I'm like, all right, so I make another call. And I get this um, automated voice saying, your, uh, your call's, um, you know, really valuable to us and um, we'll get back to you shortly. You know, we really appreciate you. And I'm like, okay. 40 minutes later, I decide no one's coming, so I'm like full of brimfire and I call the general inquiries number and I get a hold of Sue. 
and uh, I tell Sue about Tim and Lee, and um, <laughs> and she says, well, um, that's weird because you know Tim's department doesn't doesn't actually deal in mobile plans, and I'm like thinking, well, maybe Tim should stop fucking talking to people who own mobile phones, you know, and. She goes, yeah, I'm, you know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I said, look, I'm not making it up. You know, Tim's a real boy. He offered me a real hot deal. You know, um, what's going on? And um, and she goes, oh, look, um, I'm not too sure. Look, um, I can't contact him. I said, look, I want a call back. You know, I want a call back. This is ridiculous. Lee said he's going to call me back. Tim said he's going to call me back. And so Sue, so get him to call me back. And she goes, look, I don't have Tim's contact details. And I'm thinking, I'll give you Tim's contact details because I've fucking got it. Anyway, she goes, look, I've, sir, I've just revived, reviewed your file and actually you don't qualify for this plan. I'm thinking, oh, right. Okay, now I don't qualify for this. And I was like, this is what you do with it over there. You know, you call people up. You're minding their own business. You get them all hot and ready for a new deal. They're interested. They get disconnected and now you don't call them back. Is that what you're about, is it? You like to dangle the mobile carrot. You know, and I'm like, fucking hell. Anyway, um... I kind of go, all right, no worries, no worries. So I say to her, all right, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on this for a little while. I'm gonna have a little think. And I go, nah. Do you know what, Sue? Sue, what, what Sue wants me to do right now? She wants me to roll over. She wants me to give up. <laughs> all right. She wants me to go. Oh, no worries. Sue, it's a big mistake. Take it easy. And I go, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I want my call back. I want Tim to call me back. I want that deal. I'm coming for you, Tim. I'm coming for all of you because hell hath no fury like a telco customer scorned. So I build my case. You know, I've got a timeline. Uh, I get interaction numbers. That's the key, people. Interaction numbers for all the conversations that I've had up to that point. I've got ID numbers for all the employees that I've spoken to. I've got names, dates, times. I've got a flow chart for compensation resolution. I've got post-it notes everywhere. I'm up half the night. But by the end, I've got two clear goals. Get the, tim, get the deal that Tim offered and get compensated for my loss of time. <laughs> so Friday comes around and it's, uh, it's TAFE day. I'm up half, I'm, 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 my eyes twitching, third cup of coffee, I make the call. I'm on hold, big surprise. I'm on hold for a while. And the answer's and it's Lee. And I go, hey, yeah, Lee, I'll tell her about Sue. And I tell him, you know, remind her about Tim. And, he, and he's like, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well, um, actually, sir, um, that plan expired two days ago. And I'm like, thinking, that's fucking convenient, isn't it? Because I, don't, I can't get a hold of him for anyone for two days. And in that time, it expires. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. And he goes, oh, and also, um, you don't qualify for it. And I said, Tim, uh, you know, um, excuse my French, mate, but that sounds like bullshit to me. And, and I don't care who you need to call. I don't, need, I don't care what, what you need to do to make it happen, but you're going to make it happen, okay, mate? You go and sort it out. So he puts me on hold and, um, and then I'm sort of sitting on hold and, and paranoia creeps in and I'm, and I'm thinking, I've been on hold for a while. You know, they, they're going to keep me on hold because they're like, Mr Pierce, he'll give up after a while. And I'm thinking, OK, yeah. But then as the caffeine wears off, doubt creeps into my mind and I'm, and I'm like, what am I doing? What, the, what am I doing with my life? Why don't I just move on, man? You know, like, what the hell? <laughs> and then Lee comes back and he goes... No, sir, I'm sorry, the plan expired two days ago and you don't qualify for it. And I go, all right, okay, man, you know what, this is, I, I'm completely dissatisfied with this. He's playing hard cop to my, to my, my you know, he's playing, he's, he's playing hard ball to my bad cop and I'm way past, past trying good cop. So I say, mate, I'm completely dissatisfied with this. It has not been resolved. I want the number for complaints. Okay, he gives me the number of complaints. Now, the dial up complaints, I'm on hold. I look off into the distance and I can see my classmates breathing the free air, <laughs> learning and having fun. And I think, is this what my life's come to? I'm missing out on an ed education and for what? A mobile plan? But I've come too far, you know. I've come too far down this rabbit hole to turn back now. And I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing this for all the people who have been jerked around by the big telco. I come off hold and I get Mary. She puts me onto Ali, she puts me onto Mike, who puts me onto the head of complaints, Liam. <laughs> this is it, the boss fight. I say, look, Liam, I tell, I tell Liam about, I tell, tell him about, about, about Tim, about Lee, about Sue, about Lee again, 
about Mike, Ellie, Mary, Mike, Tom, Dick and Harry. I'm like, mate, all I want is the deal that I've promised. Okay, that's all I want. Let's be reasonable. And he says, Shane, the, the deal was declined at your end when the phone was disconnected. Bam, bam. And I was like, what? And he goes, and even if that offer was in existence, you don't qualify. Whack, whack. He's got me on the ropes, but I come back. And I go, <laughs> and I go, listen, mate, I got all day. You play back the recording, because I know it was recorded, because they tell me every time I call you up. <laughs> you, tell, you play that recording, and, I, and I'll, tell, I'll highlight where Tim makes the offer, and I accept. Whack, whack. Verbal agreement, motherfucker. But you know what? You want to play silly buggers? I don't care about the deal anymore, mate. You know what? I just want compensation. Okay? I want compensation. Because it's been five days, mate. You know, it's been five hours on the phone. I've been dicked around. I've been bumped from person to person. It's been very traumatic for me, Liam. I'm very disappointed. And he goes, OK, OK, OK. Look. All right, Ken, so can we offer you more data? And I said, yeah. Yeah, you can. And he goes, OK, well, how, how much do you want? I said, mate, you, you tell me how much you can offer and I'll tell you if it's enough. <laughs> And he goes, all right, I've got 10 gig. And I say, oh, you know, I've, oh, look, I'm, I'm going to have to think about it. Can we arrange a call back? And he goes, oh, look, I actually really would like to get on top of this today. Um, so um, how about another five gig? And, I'm, and I go, oh, okay, I'm just doing some calculations here. Just hold on a minute. And he goes, OK, OK, look, I've got another three gig. He's like, just fighting in the air. I've got another three gig. And we're going to do a $20 discount to your, your monthly bill ongoing to the end of your contract. Okay, so that's a saving $260. It's a 30 gig. Mr. Pierce, how does that sound? And I say, Liam, that sounds pretty good. And with that, I, I level up to a brand new deal. And all because a guy named Tim called the wrong fucking bloke. <laughs> Pierce recorded live at Bareface Stories. The theme of the night was on second thought. And if you fancy yourself the next Shane spinning yarns on stage, but you might need a bit of a leg up, well, we've just popped two new workshops on our website. The March one has already sold out. It is as packed as a peak hour train, but you can still snag a spot in the April one. So if you're itching to dip your toes into the storytelling pond, head over and sign up now. Trust me, they are such a good time. Big thanks to Leah Selwood for keeping our socials more happening than a hipster. Uh, Odette Mercy and her soul atomics. That's who you can hear in the background here. And Lewis Martin for making us look good in our pics and our videos on YouTube. I'm Andrea Gibbs. I'll be back in your ear with another bare face story next week. Catch you then. Ain't nothing you can do. She just don't love.